As we go along. Uh, we have practiced the actions this time so um, you should be able to follow uh, these three brilliant um, slash, slash terrible. Slash, <laughs> they're gonna be brilliant um, action yeah. experts. Uh, they have said yeah, to me they may experts. not be perfect. We may we not may, be perfect we either. We may seriously <clears throat> be terrible. But you know that's okay because the main thing is that Jesus is our superhero. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get, get off my guitar. <laughs> why I've got this helmet on, it's actually way too small for my head, I can't actually fit on. I'm also wearing a robe, it's because clearly I am a Roman centurion and as such I am very very powerful and in charge. So basically uh, while I'm wearing my Roman helmet and cloak, you've got to do everything I say. So this game is a version of Simon Says. But instead of Simon, obviously it's going to be Centurion Says. So I wondered whether you could find uh, some sort of costume to represent the Centurion. Uh, and maybe you could take it in turns to wear the costume and to be the Centurion. Centurion Says, stand up. Centurion Says, sit down. Uh, and then of course, as we all know, if the Centurion doesn't say it, you don't do it. Okay, those are the really simple rules. So, you may not have such a fantastic costume as mine. It's pretty excellent. But find something. You could fashion some kind of helmet out of tinfoil. Um, and, uh, and off you go. Have a great time. Right, I've kept my um, Centurion's costume on uh, for the story because I love to wear it. Um, makes me feel super powerful. Anyway, uh, the story today is about a Roman centurion. There's the link, okay? So here he is. Here is my Roman centurion. Now, this is the really powerful guy. So he can tell everybody what to do, and basically they've got to do it. So, for example, he's got some soldiers, and he's totally in charge of them. He can just tell them, you know, go over there, off they go. He's also got a servant who looks a bit like a surfer. 
This is my surfing servant, you might have noticed, quite a casual kind of beach look going on there. Um, and likewise, this guy just has to do whatever the Roman centurion tells him, because he's so powerful. Uh, but one day, there is something that this super powerful Roman centurion cannot um, fix, okay? So my servant, this chap here, gets really sick. I'm gonna lie him down like that to show you that he's really sick. And even somebody who is in charge of like everything, really powerful, can't fix that. He can't tell sickness to go away. He can't make him better. He's not in charge of sickness. Um, but he does have a really good idea because he does actually know of somebody that is even more powerful than he is. So what he does is he goes all the way to the other end of the table uh, to find Jesus. And he says to Jesus, Jesus, I don't deserve for you to come to my house, but I believe that if you just say the word, my servant will be healed. Well, Jesus is amazed by this man's faith. You see that amazed expression on his face. He can't believe it. And so he speaks the word. And as soon as Jesus spoke, over here in the centurion's house, all over here, the servant was made better. He got up. He was healed. Now the centurion trusted that Jesus was more powerful than him. He trusted that he was more powerful than any person on earth, any regime, any authority. That he was the one who was in control of everything. He is the real superhero, isn't he? More powerful than Batman and Superman and Spider-Man. He's got power over sickness. He's got power even over death. And that is the Jesus that we can trust. He is our friend. He is our star. He's our best friend. And he's our superhero. Um, let's get crafty. So today we're going to make a piece of armour to remind us of the Roman centurion and to remind us of his faith but also to remind us that Jesus is in charge. He's the one with the real power um, and that we can trust him. So I have cut out of a cornflakes packet a shield. Uh, I've chosen this shape. You can choose any shape you wish. Um, and on my shield, I have written the words very faintly because my pen was running out. I can trust Jesus. It's a really simple reminder. You may want to get a little bit more creative with your decorations of your shield. I'm going to leave that to you, depending on what you've got in your craft box at home. Um, but then you need to add a little um, handle onto the back. So for your handle, you um, will need a strip of card or paper, but maybe card, um, and to fold a couple of ends down like that. And then uh, you want to put a bit of glue or a bit of sellotape. Actually, sellotape's better. If I could find sellotape in this house, that is what I would be using. Otherwise, you just get a bit of glue and you glue it such that you can fit your hand into it. So you want to glue it a little bit like that. That's why I think sellotape's better because it gives you a little bit more security. Uh, and then you have a shield with which to play, but also that you can uh, just remember our story from today. So um, I will pray for us now as we finish and you may like to close your eyes um, however you choose to pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are in charge. Thank you that you um, uh, love it when we come to you in faith. Help us to come to you this week and to trust you. Thank you that you always listen. Amen. We're going to finish with a song. Our final psalm this morning reminds us to trust in the Lord. It takes the words from Proverbs chapter 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. If you don't know it, um, just uh, maybe listen to it through you once and then join in when we can. The words are quite simple. <laughs>
good words, aren't they, to go with you this week. Do um, trust him and remember to talk to him. He's always uh, listening. He'd love to hear from you and um, go well. I'll see you next week. Bye.